the Dhammapada, verses 153 and 154. Craving is the builder of this house. Aneka jati sangsarang, sandhavisang anibbisang, gahakara kang gave santo, dukha jati punapunang, gahakaraka dithosi, punage hang nakahasi, sabbate pasuka bhagga, Gahakutang visankitang, visankhara gatang chittang, tanhanang khayang ajjaga. Through many a birth I wandered in sangsara, seeking but not finding the builder of the house. Sorrowful it is to be born again and again. O house builder, I have seen you. Thou shalt build no house again. All thy rafters are broken. Your ridge pole is shattered. My mind has attained the unconditioned. Achieved is this end of craving. The peon of bliss uttered by the Buddha. Prince Siddhartha, the family of Gotama, son of King Sudodana and Queen Maya of the Kingdom of the Sakyans, renounced the world at the age of twenty-nine and became an ascetic in search of the Dhamma. For six years he wandered about the valley of the Ganges, approaching famous religious teachers, studying their doctrines and methods. He lived austerely, and submitted himself strictly to rigorous ascetic discipline. But he found that all these traditional practices do not lead to truth. He was determined to find the truth in his own way, and by avoiding the two extremes of excessive sensual indulgence and self-mortification, he found the middle path, which would lead to perfect peace Nibbana. This middle path, or the Majjhima Patipada, is the noble eightfold path. It has right understanding, it has right mindfulness, and it has right collectedness of mind. Thus, one evening, seated under the Bodhi tree on the bank of the Neranjara river, Prince Siddhartha Gotama attained supreme enlightenment at the age of thirty-five. During the first watch of the night, the prince attained the power of recollection of past existences, and during the second watch he attained the power of divine sight. Then, during the third watch of the night, he contemplated on the doctrine of dependent origination. At the crack of dawn, Prince Siddhartha Gotama, by his own intellect and insight, fully and completely comprehended the Four Noble Truths. These happen to be the Noble Truth of Unsatisfactoriness, or Dukkha, Dukkha Arya Satcha, the Noble Truth of the Cause of Dukkha, Dukkha Samudaya Arya Satcha, the noble truth of the cessation of dukkha, dukkha nirodha arya satcha, and the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of dukkha, dukkha nirodha gamini patipada arya satcha. There also appeared in him, in all their purity, the clear knowledge of the absolute reality of each noble truth, satcha jnana knowledge gained through the performance required for each noble truth, kichanyana, and the knowledge of the completion of the performance required for each noble truth, katanyana, and thus he attained the sabbanyuta jnana, also called bodhi jnana, of a Buddha, 
From that time, he was known as Gotama the Buddha. A note from the author. The first noble truth of Dukkha should be comprehended. Parinyaya. The second noble truth of the cause of Dukkha should be eradicated. Pahatabha. The third noble truth of the cessation of Dukkha should be realized. Satchikatabhang. The fourth noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of Dukkha should be developed. Bhavetabhang.